Hi, I'm Kat, and I hate horror movies. And today, we're watching Misery. That sounds upbeat. What could go wrong with a title like Misery? Spoilers, am I right? I don't know anything about this movie other than the fact that Kathy Bates is in it. I love Kathy Bates. And I assume that this will be miserable for one or more people. Let's get into it. Smoking. Hurting your lungs. That's the real horror of this movie. I know this actor. Must be hard as a writer to write the end, you know? Yay! Oh, this is very exciting right out the gate. A celebratory cigarette. You deserve it. Well done. Horror movie starting off driving down a road. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's the only way to begin a horror movie. Kathy Bates, let's go. He needs to drive a little bit more to the center of the road and slow down. This is a happy movie with happy music so far. Let's go, Stephen King. You and I are gonna be friends. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God. Dead? End of movie? When I wrote my first book, I used to carry it around in this while I was looking for a publisher. First printing for Misery's Child was the most ever. Over a million. Wow. Pretty. Misery Chastain put braces on your daughter's teeth and is putting her through college. And what thanks does she get? You go and kill her. I never meant for it to become my life. And if I hadn't gotten rid of it now, I'd have ended up writing it forever. Now I'm leaving for Colorado to try to finish the new book. I'm your number one fan. You're gonna be just fine. Creepy eyes. How long? You've been here two days. My name is Annie Wilkes. Number one fan. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm also a nurse. Here, take these. She's being weird, right? That first shot of her from the bottom, she's just like looking down. That was, ha, ah! ha. Ah! He'd be dead without her. He's in her debt. Right. They're called Navarro. They're for your pain. Oh. Ouch. Kudos to the makeup department. Look how, look how banged up he looks. Does she carry him in the snow? Strong. Open wide. Your shoulder was pretty badly dislocated. It was a little stubborn, but I finally popped it back in. Ah. What I'm most proud of is the work I did on those legs. I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any better. I could hear the bones moving, so it's best for your legs to remain immobile. And as soon as the road's open, I'll take you to a hospital. <sighs> One of my clients, Paul Sheldon, might be in some kind of trouble. He's your client, huh? Well, everybody sure likes those misery books. I'll put his name through our system. If anything turns up, I'll call. Very official. We got a phone call. Busy morning. Who? <laughs> Who girl? Ha ha! <laughs> Yikes. It's kind of a miracle you finding me. <laughs> no, it wasn't a miracle at all. I followed you. In a way, I was following you. Well, it wasn't any secret to me you were staying at the Silver Creek. Seeing as how I'm your number one fan and all. Some nights I just tool on down there and sit outside and look up at the light in your cabin and I try to imagine what She's creepy. I didn't know there was a big storm coming. Well, lucky for you, I did. Because now you're alive. And you can write more books. I know them all by heart. All eight of them. I love them so. You're very kind. And you're very brilliant. I have to call my daughter, and I'd like to call my agent in New York and let her know I'm still breathing. 
Once the roads are open, the phone lines will be up in no time. It's been a week. I noticed in your case there is a new Paul Sheldon book. You want to read it? You'll never realize what a rare treat you can... She's charming. She's very charming. She's always been a good guest. Mm -hmm. Never makes a noise, never bothers a soul. I sure hope nothing's happened to her. She really does... I know I'm only 40 pages into your book. Uh-oh. Oh, what? She hates it. Nothing. The swearing, Paul. These are slum kids. I, I was a slum kid. Everybody talks like that. They do not? What do you think I say when I go to the feed store in town? Give me a bag of that effing pig feed. Here's one big bastard of a check. Give me some of your Christing money. Slapping. See what you made me do? Oh, Paul, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get so worked up. <laughs> she slapped soup all over the bed. I love you, Paul. Oh, Paul's in a panic now. Your mind. Your creativity. That's, that's all I meant. For sure. Oh, he's in for it now. He knows he is. She really teeters well on like the verge of, you know, insanity, but also, you know, being all sweet and stuff. I don't know. The sheriff slash fishing tour guide is gonna save the day. Oh my God, it's all buried in snow. Oh. The car is probably right there. Need some help? No, I'm enjoying myself. Ah, uh, just missed it, I bet. Yeah. Ah, oh, see? You really think Sheldon's out there? I hope not. If he is, he's dead. Or worse, kidnapped by a soup feeder. Oh, <laughs> Coming back with more book feedback, I presume. Ooh, I hope I didn't wake you. Look what I got. We had it at the store. And the roads are open. Well, the one to town is, but that's about it. The phone's working. Well, mine's still out. I peeked at the very beginning. What a wonderful first page. Oh, Paul. What a poet you are. <sighs> Such softness, but underneath so, so much special. moves. And I'm on page 75. It's perfect. He's got to get out of there. But he's got, he's got broken legs, so he'll have to wait for the spring. The snow is melting outside. Keeping a pig? We love to see it. Sweet little thing. Give him a pat. <sighs> Give him a pat. I thought it was time you two should meet. Say hello to my favorite beast in the whole world. My sow misery. <laughs> yes, I told you I was your number one fan. Everything changed. I love her. She just makes me smile so. They're very affectionate. I'm on page 300 now, Paul. And it's better than perfect. It's divine. Oh, oh he Son? was peeing the whole time. A little bit of privacy. Ah. Love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end. And I gotta find out what happens. Oh, she's gonna be displeased. She was flopping that pee like she was flopping the soup. I was worried, you know? Oh, she's gonna be mad. You. You dirty bird. <gasps> she can't be dead. Annie, in 1871, women often died in childbirth. I don't want her fat! I want her! You murdered my mother! Annie! I 
thought you were good, Paul. And don't even think about anybody coming for you. Because I never called them. You better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. <sighs> Bit of a pickle there, Paul. And I didn't call anybody. Not the doctor. Not your agent. Wow. Whoo! Get up, get up, get up. Try to get up. Do your best. See what you can do. Now's the time to experiment. Can you improvise a weapon? Yikes. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This could really set you back if you fall wrong here, Paul. Yeah, this is not... Probably not. Oh, that really probably did, was not good for him. Oh, oh wow, 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 wow. She, I don't know that she set those back properly, you know? Make your way, Paul. Did she break his legs? Please don't come home now. <laughs> nice. It's gonna be locked or something. Yeah. We're working close with the state police, and the FBI's been informed. What are you doing on the floor? If I'd had a proper hospital bed, this never would have happened. Oh, oh, oh! Oh. Comfy? Perfect. And God said, I delivered him unto you so that you may show him the way. She's a woman of God. What? She's gonna barbecue him? Nah, what's this for? What's this? Why you? What's this for? Oh, very bad. Though that's his brand new book. He worked so hard on this book. He would have made a copy. Man would have made a copy. My agent made dozens of copies. There's going to be an auction in New York. When you were 24, you wrote your first book and you didn't make a copy because you didn't think anybody would take it seriously. And ever since, you've never made any copies because you're superstitious. You told that story to Merv Griffin 11 years ago. I think you should light the match, Paul. What do you do if he doesn't? Can't you see it's what God wants? We're put on this earth to help people, Paul. Throw the blanket on her, set her on fire. Ah. Ah, uh, yipey. Hi, Kevin. Hi, how you doing, son? Fine, make yourself at home back there. I don't know, Tom. He has um, these lights. What is it? Yeah, something's in those sneaky pills. Nice. Smart. Squirrel them away. Make a fancy potion. Make her drink it. Great. I always wanted to visit the other side of the room. <laughs> You're gonna write a new novel. Your greatest achievement ever. I know you didn't mean it when you killed her. And now you'll make it right. It'll be a book in my honor. For saving your life. I expect nothing less than your masterpiece. No pressure. So she intends to let him go then? To present the book to the world? I'm hopeful. What's this? A bobby pin. You'll have total solitude so you can concentrate on your work. I got you this expensive paper to type on. Did I do good? You did great. There is just one little thing. I can't work on this paper. It, it smudges. I'd like for you to be in on everything, Annie, not just the finished book. Thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> she gets creepy so fast. Anything else I can get while I'm in town? Why is she so irritated? I thought you want to help. Any other crucial requirements that need satisfying? I feed you, I clean you, I dress you, and what thanks do I get? I can't write on this paper, Annie. Well, I'll get your stupid paper. Showing me a little more appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Oh boy, owie zowie.
Wouldn't mind if her car swerved off the road, you know? Get that. Get that hairpin. Get that bobby pin. Is now the time? See, I would do this when she was sleeping, you know what I mean? You'd have more, more hours. Maybe it's too loud. Be too loud. Damn it. Oh, please don't let that fall under the door. Come on, be more careful. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. <sighs> this not, couldn't be the way to do it. Pull the, the thing, all right, he's doing fine. What's your plan? Get a weapon. And hurry. There's another author in the next room. You never know. Get a knife. <sighs> He'll never make it. <laughs> he's taking his time. Ha, ah, he's this is gonna cost him a few good whacks to his legs. I know it. Oh no, don't, don't. <laughs> That's not how he was facing. All the animals are facing. Yo, yo, yo. Eye on the prize here, sir. What are you after? Oh no. He's met her before at some fan thing. <laughs> this is wild. What are they? Time to find out. He turned that stupid penguin. <sighs> now we're talking. Knife, fork, abort. Abort, she'll leave the house again for groceries. <sighs> Where do you think you're gonna wiggle off to? You're not gonna make it all the way back to New York. She'll see a trail of you in, in the snow. Get up. You need to get a knife. Why has this not crossed your mind? There, f uh, finally. Get a knife, stab. <gasps> you lollygagged. This is what happens. Push it. Give it a, give it a shove. Nah, it's too late for you. It's too late. I make it. <laughs> Atta boy. She'll never notice the penguin. Just did a bit of exercising. Paul. I've been sitting here suffering. I need my pills. Shove them down your pants, you silly man. Yes! A little bit of melted snow! Right where you were, sir. Right where you were. It must now be that Paul Sheldon is dead. We also know that if anyone had found him, they would have taken him to an area hospital. You don't think he's dead, do you? Someone pulled him out. This guy's good. This guy's so good. Right? What are you gonna do, whip that out the window? Make it into a paper airplane, fly it back to New York? What is that stuff, do we think? What is it? It's an actual pill, it came in a pill container. What is it? He looks much better, meanwhile. She's done her job. Say what you will. Writer's block. <laughs> Look at his eyes. <laughs> Sorry, Paul, this is all wrong. You'll have to do it over again. I really value your criticism, but maybe we're being a little hasty here. When I was growing up in Bakersfield, my favorite thing in all the world on Saturday afternoons for the chapter plays. Cliffhangers. I know that, Mr. Man. I'm not stupid, you know. 
Anyway, my favorite was Rocket Man. And he woke up and tried to steer and tried to get out. Car went off a cliff before he could escape. Next week, you better believe I was first in line. And there was Rocket Man trying to get out. And just before the car went off the cliff, he jumped free. And all the kids cheered. This isn't what happened last week. Have you all got amnesia? He didn't get out of the cock-a-duty car! They always cheated like that in um, chapter plays. Misery was buried in the ground at the end, Paul. So you'll have to start there. That was very chilling. I think her eyes went two different ways. That was wild. What an actor, you know? Whew. Now that Ian has dug her out, will she have amnesia? I have to wait. Will she still love him with that special, perfect love? You'll have to wait. It's what's keeping him alive, right? Probably. Oh! Oh no. Um, this is a mistake. You have dinner with me tonight to celebrate Misery's return. What's your plan here? What are you playing at? Ah, nah. I've done it without you. It would be an honor. Okay, I see the angle. Get her to think you're falling in love with her. Get to go out. Oh no. Yikes. What's your game here? She flipped the penguin around. It's facing the proper way again. Wait. Let's do this right. Do you have any candles? I think so. I'll go look. Yikes. It's gonna all float on the top. This is not a good idea. It's all gonna float. I just picked things up over the years. This can't end well. Will this do? <sighs> I get goosebumps every time I think about oh it. Oh my god. Oh, oh that sucks. I ruined your beautiful toast. <sighs> Damn it. I mean, he worked really hard. He swallowed a lot of pill shells Misery. for that. Chapter five already. He's cooking. He's on a roll. Writer's block who? He's writing day and night. I'm proud of him. He's all healed up, his nose cut, everything. Oh, he's working out. Good for him. I know you don't love me. Famous man of the world, and I'm not a movie star type. I was gonna say a psycho, but... Soon you'll be wanting to leave. What, are you gonna kill him? Oh, no! Oh, no! What's your plan? Then that means no more books, though. You should not finish the book. Sometimes I think about using it. I better go now. I might put bullets in it. Out of curiosity, where do you keep the gun? Good nerd to ask. Where's she going in her robe with her gun? Oh, there he goes with the with the big knife. Alright, he has a knife. Worst case scenario, he's got a big knife. <sighs> good one. <laughs> Nah, he's getting good. You know, a little practice. He might tear a hole in his little arm diaper, but he, he should be careful. Here she is. Up you get. All right. <laughs> All right, it's your moment. This is your moment. You're going to get one slash at this, you know? Pretend to be sleeping. Close your eyes. Pretend they're closed. Just do the hello half open thing. He gets to live another day. He's tucking the knife back under the bed. Please don't be staring at him. Please. Open your eyes. She's going to be looming over him. See, I said it. I said it. You've been out of your room. No, I haven't. Paul, my little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. 
I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a penguin. Is this what you're looking for? Paul, do you know about the early days at the Kimberly Diamond Mines? Do you know what they did to the native workers who stole diamonds? The operation was called hobbling. Annie, whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. They showed it. Something is amiss, Sheriff. Oh, remember when he, she hit his foot? <sighs> this sheriff never gives up, and I love him for it. If she hurts this sheriff, I want my money back. Hi, pumpkin. Nah. Nice. Such a kidder. I love that pig. I love the pig and the sheriff and the wife. Well, same old stuff. Newspaper? No, typing kind. Let's go, but don't go by yourself. Tell your wife where you're going. Tell your wife where you're going. Tell everyone where you're going. Get for, call for backup. This is it. Smash the window, call for, wave your hand. This is his moment. He's gonna escape with the sheriff. Ah, come on. Get there, get there. Smash the window right now. Why wouldn't he smash the window and wave out the... I tend to you practically 24 hours a day, and you continue... She's got a secret basement. Damn it. happen to know anything about Paul Sheldon? He's been missing for quite some time now. How long do you think? Please. Thank you. You must know all about that horrible accident. Mind if I take a look around? Of course not. Can you muster a tiny help? Look at me. You'd think I'd never had a guest before. Would you like a nice hot cup of cocoa? She's gonna kill him with a gun. Must get lonely living out here all by yourself. Is she going to shoot him or what? She's going to shoot him dead. Please don't shoot him. Please don't shoot him. Keep your wits about you, sir. Keep your wits about you. It's going to be just Coco, right? Here you are. Oh, I best be going. Just go push him down the stairs. Wilkes, are you all right? Here! I'm down here! This man's gonna die. Mr. Sheldon? You and I were meant to be together forever. See? I put two bullets in my gun. One for you, and one for me. Oh, darling, it'll be so beautiful. He never should have gone down the romance road. I called it. I thought it was a bad idea. You remember, I said it. Light everything on fire, torch the place. Ah, the poor man. Ah, damn it. You're not gonna kill him down there, are you? Damn it. I love you. I love you too. It's almost finished. By dawn, we'll be able to give misery back. He's good. The man can talk himself out of a out of a very tough situation. Yes, shove the liquid down your pants. I don't know. All right. Okay. I'll fix you something to eat. Just make your way over the body on your way up. Don't trip. You see. Uh... I'd like everything to be perfect. I'll need three things. You need a cigarette. 
and the match is to light it. You need one glass of champagne. Dom Perignon. Close. What's his plan here, do you think? Because unless you're planning on giving her a big paper cut, you're in big trouble. Oh, he has the, the liquid. Ah, he's gonna light it up, light it up. He's gonna light it up, I think. This time we'll need two glasses. What is your plan here? What is your plan? I'll find out, I'll find out. He just wrote the whole book and he's now setting it on fire? Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? Or if they'd ever be reunited? It's all right here. Does she finally marry Ian? Or will it be Winthorne? It's all right here. Paul, you can't! What a move! I'm gonna tell you, you lie, Oh, sh you've got this, sir. She's only got one bullet left in the gun, and there it went. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, you've been training for this for months, buddy. He's gonna, he's gonna do it. No, 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 she, listen, okay. Yes, let's go. Oh, the balls, not the balls. Oh, that sucks, you know. <laughs> Paul, finish the job. You're a novelist. You know that these jobs need to be finished. One more time with the typewriter. One good one. Ah, he didn't finish the job. He needed to finish the job, see? I said it, I said it, I knew. Now you'll finish the job with the piggy. Get him with the pig. <laughs> see, I told you he had to finish the job. Boom, one time. Oh, there it is. Get him, boom. Finish the job. Finish it. Finished? Her eyes are open. It makes me feel as though it might be finished. One more time for good measure, you know? You never know until you know. Oh my god, he's walking again. Oh, it's a small miracle. Great. I thought you'd be thrilled. I'm delighted the critics are liking it, and I hope the people like it too. But I wrote it for me. Andy Wilkes, an old experience, helped me. I thought you were over. Anyone could ever totally get over something like that. It's weird. Even though I know she's dead, I still think about it once in a while. I don't mean to bother you, but are you Paul Sheldon? Yes. I just want to tell you I'm your number one fan. Get out of there. <laughs> it's very sweet of you. I'll be seeing you. Wow. Kathy Bates tore a hole in the fabric of the universe <laughs> with that performance. Well, I give Misery a hundred. Holy crap, Kathy Bates says. What? Out of 10? Holy crap, Kathy Bates says. What an actor. Thank you so much for watching that with me. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me a lot and it tells me that you want me to watch more of these. And speaking of more of these, if there's a movie that you want me to watch, leave it in the comments. I will read them all. Thank you so much for recommending Misery. That was excellent. I'm gonna go for a walk now, but you should watch another one of my videos because this was awesome. See you soon. <laughs>